filtering plant. Each filtering tank has been built in a special way. If you could see underneath the water, you'd find layers of sand and gravel. The water slowly drips through, and the sand and gravel catch the dirt and other material, so that the water comes out past these tile blocks crystal clear. And that's the answer to Bob's question about filters. ...to the spirit of public service. Now, in bringing television, network television, out of the laboratory and into your living room, NBC rededicates itself in this same spirit to provide the greatest medium of mass information and mass entertainment in the world. of yesterday's radio is the crystal ball of television in which is visible a whole new era of communication. Would the missile system work? Hours before, down at Cape Canaveral, the Delta missile that would put the echo balloon into orbit was on its launching pad. Ready to be guided through space by the command guidance system located in the Bell Laboratory's control station at the Cape. Control Less than a minute remains in the countdown. 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 0. We'll learn more about this in a moment. the value jubilee make this year 1953 get personal size ivory for your beauty care and save you get four cakes of personal size ivory for about the same price as only three cakes of any other leading toilet soap four instead of three it's like getting an extra cake free what a value why more doctors advise pure mild ivory for complexion care than any other soap Start cleansing your skin regularly and use this handy personal size of ivory. In one week, your complexion will have a prettier look. That ivory look. Remember, when you buy four cakes of personal size ivory, it's like getting an extra cake free. So join the value jubilee. Make this year 1953. Save. And save. On personal size ivory. And now, back to The Guiding Lights. On their trip through the Rockies, the Harwoods meet Meadow Gold trucks, bringing fine Meadow Gold products from central plants to the smaller cities and towns. This service is very extensive and permits communities which could not afford the fine equipment and help of the large plant to share in the benefits of Meadow Gold products. you have heard there, one of the most unusual human voices you'll have the privilege to hear, with an unusual range that goes from C way up to the uh, F above high C. And this, uh, you'll hear some very beautiful music now because of this request from John Barker of Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. I like this. It says, Dear Art Baker, back in 1934, I was a parking lot attendant at the Florentine Gardens in Hollywood. And there was a young man singing there named Simpkins, who was being helped along by Harry Richmond, who headed the bill there at that time. 
I understand Simpkins really hit the big time. Haven't seen him in all those years, so how about locating him for us, if possible? Signed, John Barker. Well, Mr. Barker, I know exactly how you feel. I, too, attended the Florentine in those days when Harry Richmond was there, and I've seen the great ovation that this singer got. We were able to locate him for you, and you'll find the very, very few with the amazing range and the facility of this singer. He sings everything from swing to opera and has that amazing range from C way up to F above high C. With great pleasure, I give you now Arthur Lee Simpkins. Marie, the dawn is breaking, sweet Marie, you'll soon be working to find your heart is breaking until will fall and you'll recall the moon in all its splendor your keys so very tender and the world Todd hung around outside where his father worked. With a terrible bitterness, he had seen the boss, Mr. Nicholson, drive away. And now he saw him come back. Then with a speed almost too swift to follow, the magic of modern chemistry rocketed us into a new world of modern fabrics. Continuous, exciting technological discoveries gave us such man-made fibers as rayon and acetate, and such synthetics as nylon, acrylan, dacron, orlon, beryl, cresslan, dynel, zephram, 
and many others, including the new resin-treated cottons. And I do, Chris. I'm really delighted for you. I hope you'll be very happy. I hope the same thing happens for you, Margot. I really mean that. So do I. <laughs> but, um, haven't you some complications to straighten out before you and Helen can marry? Oh, yes, but that won't take very long. How long? I don't know, but no longer than necessary. Helen must love you a great deal to be willing to become involved. She's not going to be involved, Margot. I know. Legal complications necessary for me to get possession of my son have nothing to do with her. I promised her that she would not be involved. Well, that may turn out to be a hard promise to keep, unless, of course, you keep your plan secret. Well, I don't see any reason why these plans should be kept a secret from uh, Bill Fraser, now, do you? None, whatever. Would you like to tell him? Nothing would give me more pleasure. I'll call you back later. I got a visit. Stitch, it's me, Chuck. Open up. Well, what's the deal? It's on for tomorrow. And the dough? Two grand. Half now? The other grand when you deliver the goods. When I knock off this guy, uh, what's his name? Purdy. Marvin Purdy. Yeah, yeah, this Purdy. When do I get the rest of the dough? I'll bring it to you here tomorrow, after I hear that everything went off okay. Everything will be okay. I know my business. I'm no punk kid. Sure, sure, Stitch. You wouldn't be trying to pull a fast one on me, would you, Chuck? No, Stitch. I know better than that. Now, here it is. Here's the address. Wood Hall and Purdy, room 321, real estate building. You know where that is? Real estate building? Yeah, I know. I ain't exactly a stranger in this one-horse town. Room 321. That's on the third floor. No kidding. 321. I thought it was on a roof or something. Where would it be but on the third floor? Okay, okay, stop clowning around and listen. There's a stairway to a service exit that comes right up next to the office. After you bump Purdy, go down those stairs and you'll be in the back alley. Maybe you better go over there ahead of time and case it yourself. Uh -uh. Why not? Because I don't want some dopey janitor or something to spot me. And then afterwards tell the cops a description of some guy they saw snooping around. <laughs> You gotta be smart in my business. Have it your way. Now, Woodhull will be there, too. He'll tell the cops that it was a stick-up and that Purdy put up a fight. Then he'll give them a phony description of you. Hey, that's smart. That's real smart. He gives the cops a wrong go about what the shooter looks like, and even if they picked me up, he said I wasn't the right guy. And him being an eyewitness. He'd have to. To save his own neck, huh? Woodhull is. He the guy buying this caper? Never mind about that. <laughs> I'm gonna like this job. I'm glad you do. Now, have you got it all? 8.30 a.m. on the dot. 